8-year-old Mama Miri Obote, the wife to the disease, former Ugandan President Dr. Miriton Obote, arrived on invitation of Dan Freddy Kidega, the Speaker of the East African Legislative Assembly. Another former First Lady Mama Ngina Kenyatta, the wife of the Kenyan President Jomo Kenyatta, also arrived. <laughs> The two former ladies were ushered in. The headquarters of the East African community to attend a special sitting of the assembly chaired by Speaker Kidega. Addressing the regional makers, Mama Miria Obote implored them to embrace new technologies in the spirit of the East African integration envisaged by their husbands, the founding fathers of the community. It should be easy to send or receive mobile money from East African community countries to another without any problem. This would have a huge impact on economic growth. But in the middle of her speech, Mama Miria Obote held up tears of joy. Some honey. This is an advanced birthday present. What more do I want? Even if I don't celebrate, this is my birthday. Thank you. Asante ni sana. Asante ni sana. Mungu awabariki wote. Miria Obote also urged the partners to promote interstate tourism by encouraging East Africans to visit neighboring countries. Let Kenyans also go and see how Ugandans live. Let them come and eat a bit of matoke. For goodness sake, we are all East African. This is what I want to stress. She also called on Ugandans to expeditiously embrace the Kiswahili language as the quickest means to foster the East African integration process. We speak our Swahili, which is watered down. We don't know how, we, we say, we don't have that language of, the, of telling people, Ebu Mujomba, Ebu, Ebu Tafazali, Ebu, <laughs> Ebu Mujo. We say, Kwenda Piga Chakura, Piga Chakura. We didn't know there was Kupika, you see, but we are learning. Mama Angina Kenyatta, who spoke in Kiswahili, asked lawmakers to keep the dream and hopes of their husbands alive. Na tukitoka hapa, tukienda mbahale marienda. Tutakuenda kuambia, muna tatimisa, yale mulikuwa nataka watimise. Speaker Kidega informed the assembly that Mama Maria Nyerere, the wife of the former Tanzanian president, the late Mwari Mujurias Nyerere, could not attend the historical event of honoring the former first ladies because she was indisposed. The speaker presented gifts to the East African community founding first ladies. Maria Nyerere was represented by her son Charles Makongoro Nyerere, also a Yara member of parliament. The East African community established in 1966, later collapsed in 1977, over differences between Uganda's President Idi Amini and President Nyerere. The community was revived in 1999. The demise of East African community will no doubt go down in our history as a great tragedy. Resounding this quote from her husband, Mama Miria said his dream was realized. Jingo Francis, NTV, Arusha, Tanzania.